Hello, everyone. Hello to the children of light out there and the star seeds. How's everybody doing? Um, I just wanted to um, come on and do the zodiac sign reading. I'm going to be doing all the signs all in one shot. Um, I normally do two two different videos. Um, also, I wanted to say welcome to the new subscribers. I really appreciate. It. Thank you so much. Um, so yeah, so I noticed the spread today. There are a lot of uh, there are like six cards that are suit cards. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit. And my interpretation of that is that because there are six of the suit cards, um, Spirit is really saying that um, people on a collective level are evolving spiritually and really flexing those muscles. And it's sort of like they're experiencing an ego death and they're kind of they're having to adapt and you know transform so they're having to adapt to outside circumstances and outside changes and in order to fit their needs um so yeah so let's start with with aries so we have the page of swords and what the Page of Swords is saying, um, so basically, Aries, you are approaching an aspect of your life as a novice or a beginner, and you have like a new perspective on things, and you kind of feel like you have like a new, you feel like lighter. You feel as though you have like a new type of energy about you. And there's a change of consciousness and a change of your previous programming, pro programming, like even your uh, programming um, from your childhood. So you have become, you have begun uh, like a new mental practice. And that could be, you know, even if you did something like, you know, Qigong or um, it could be yoga, a different type of yoga, um, or, you know, let's just say walking every day, but there's something new that you've been doing in your life. And that's really been helping you um, to cope with, you know, stress and any negative um, emotions. So you're pretty much seeing things differently and you have a new attitude and um, this will assist you in the future. And you have been looking back at your past and what was no longer there. And, you know, it's more, it's as if you're approaching your life with more of like a childlike energy. Okay. And then next Taurus. So yeah, basically the message for Aries is just keep doing what you're doing. Keep, keep going forward with that. So we have Taurus. Um, the world. So for Taurus, I see travel. Um, you're stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, you're exploring the world around you. And this may also be your inner world. It could be astral travel, uh, self-actualization, converging of the consciousness and subconscious. Um, and just really aligning yourself. And uh, there you have a uh, power uh, stepping into, or even you may even feel like you're stepping into a portal and you have the key to open that portal. And also I had totem animals coming in so communication with your totem animals, uh, blending of the physical world and spiritual world. And we have Gemini. And let's see, Gemini, we have the lovers. 
so we have the um this is this represents a major breakthrough in a relationship and so the air has been cleared you know there's something that you experienced in the past in a relationship and it it doesn't necessarily have to be a love relationship you know um you know like a marriage or you know a relationship um you know like a sexual relationship this could be a relationship you know it could be another you know friendship it could be the relationship you know with your children or you know any other type of relationship but whatever you experienced in the past there was some kind of negativity in the past so that has been cleared um so this represents also masculine and feminine energies um it also asks where does your passion lie and it also could be vulnerability so you may have to look at that like what is causing you to feel vulnerable in your life um so in order to get where you are in a relationship, you have to, you know, you have to be vulnerable. Um, so this also represents transparency. Um, it could be a wedding, a happy union, a family dynamic. You know, the question may be, how will a certain change in the household affect uh, a family dynamic? Okay, and then we have cancer and we have the king of swords so the focus here is on detachment from an from emotion in order to sort things out so this is calling upon you to stand in your energy stand strongly in your energy and it doesn't necessarily mean you should do it in a you know a forceful way but to me, it, it, you know, it, you have, you would have to stand in your energy, um, like in a, not a forceful way, but in a, um, I can't think of the word, <laughs> um, more of in like a grounded way. And, you know, you're maintaining, you know, it calls for you to maintain practicality in order to make uh, balanced decisions and choosing the correct words and actions. Um, so this may also have to do with a person that you're dealing with, or maybe somebody that you deal with every day, or it could be a coworker, you know, or it could be coworkers, or it could be, you know, customers or, you know, something to of that nature. Um, so this really is saying, as long as you move slow with the decisiveness and precision, the outcome will, will be wonderful. Okay. And we got a, we have another suit card for Leo. Okay, so this is this card is very is more on the playful side, and it is a page. So it has more of like a childlike energy to it. Um, so yeah, so the focus is on more like fun, uh, connecting with children. It's a powerful illumination, uh, perhaps even, you know, it's telling you to take risks, but like a fun risk. Um, and, you know, it's the feeling of enthusiasm, passion, a new beginning, you know, it could be a new hobby new exploration uh or you could be pl planning an outing with your family or your children but it's encouraging you to not not to take life as serious and approach it with that you know childlike perspective okay so next so we have virgo and the queen of wands one of my favorite cards uh, so she, I like her, she lives her life with inte integrity and, you know, truth and, you know, she's, she has like a, a vibrant 
positive you know she's like a breath of sunshine i like her so people i think to me this also represents people in your social network um will be seeking you out for something creative um and you will be focusing on others and they will be seeking you out for your talents and attention to detail because we all know that virgo really um you know really pays attention to detail so the queen of wands says to have fun with it and explore and business will become more lucrative for you with more opp opportunities in the future okay now we have Libra and we have the Knight of Wands. So Libra, you've been feeling impulsive lately or you should, you know, the, this card is really telling you to loosen up. And also this is a fast moving card. He moves the Knight of Wands, he's, he's fast. So it's actually may also be telling you to maybe slow down a little bit, but also have fun with it um use your creative energy to manifest things uh there may also be an intensity to your emotions um so knight of wands also calls to channel that energy um also could indicate quick changes or actual physically moving yourself you may also uh you might be looking into moving to a specific location Maybe out of state, who knows? Or out of country, who knows? Okay. And now we have another suit card. So, so far we've had four suit cards. So this is the fifth suit card. Um, so we have the Scorpio, which is Page of Cups. So Page of Cups really represents the heart, your passion, um, what motivates you, what really speaks to you, um, to what your purpose in life is. So to me, um, I, this could, this could also, this could represent a job offer, something that would have to be really, um, like it's something that you have been looking into for a while and this comes up in your in your career sector and you're wondering whether or not you should take it whether you should take the opportunity opportunity um you may think that it might not be stable uh but from what i'm getting uh you would have to really do a little more research read the fine print and just look at you know if you have to sign anything if you have to sign any contracts you know just really look at what you're signing um and also um this calls this card also could be related to a relationship you know, someone could be, you know, offering you, you know, or, you know, communicating with you about starting a relationship. So you're kind of, I would say you're kind of iffy about it. And this also, I also picked up on, uh, like if you're a man, there could be some issues coming up regarding a woman. Okay, and then let's see, Sagittarius. So we have the Queen of Cups, another suit card. So Sagittarius, at this moment, you're very, very, very focused. And the Queen of Cups, she's intuitive, spiritual, and aware she's but she's also aware of her surround surroundings at the same time 
Um, and there is someone in particular, you know, somebody of the opposite sex that is observing you. Um, you know, you may not be aware of who the person is. Uh, that person will reveal themselves. There will be a karmic union coming soon for you. Also, if you have been thinking of opening up a business, someone has seen your potential and, you know, you might, they might become your business partner. So I definitely, I definitely believe with this card that you're being observed and you may not even know it. Okay, we're moving on to the Four of Wands. So we're done with the suit cards. <laughs> All right, so, um, so the Four of Wands, this Four of Wands is like a celebration. It could be a wedding. Um, it represents a major milestone. Uh, there's stability, it could be a graduation, a rite of passage, uh, you could be making a decision that has like lifted the weight off of you. Um, so pretty much spirit is saying like, this is the right decision for you not to worry and the path of the future is clear for you. Okay, and then we have Aquarius, the Magician, one of my favorite cards. So the Magician represents mastery of power, um, he can also be a shaman, um, so all you have learned uh, is being represented here, so with the magician, he's able to direct his energy and focus it in order to accomplish his goals. And, you know, this is a card of confidence and you have the tools within you in order to manifest your desires. So these desires align with what exists on the physical plane and spiritual plane. So what is above is also below. And the last card, we have Pisces, another great card. So um, this represents courage, you know, obviously strength, patience, faith. You know, she's strong, but the fact that she could put her hands right she's or she's putting her hand right next to the to the lion's mouth i mean that re requires you know courage patience you know it looks like she has a very good relationship with the lion and trust so this is this card's really saying to me that you should trust yourself and trust your intuition and you have the ability to transmute the energy even if it seems negative you have that ability to transmute that to the positive because she's transmuting you know the energy of fear into something positive. So to me, this represents the healer, the nurturer, and also being able to connect with, with animals. And you would benefit from that, uh, connecting with the animal world and taking care of animals, or you may be in charge of them. And, um, you know, who knows, you might be even able to communicate telepathically with them if 
you develop that. Okay, so we're done. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to comment, please do. And also share, like, and subscribe. See you next time.